Okay, so I'm back with these um, two big uh, 120 by 120 centimeter canvases that I've been working on. Um, you might have seen in the previous video, I was doing all this kind of um, print block work on these. So there's this one and this one over here as well. And um, since that last uh, video, I've, um, so I've done a little bit more work on them. Not, not a huge amount, but um, just a bit more, just kind of built them up a little bit more. And uh, also you may notice that I've actually turned, turned this one around as well. Um, I was playing around with the idea of that um, last week. I was thinking um, I might, you know, switch the switch it around a little bit and just change the um, change the way around it is just just to um, just to see what happens really. But I quite like it up this way. I've been kind of standing down the other end of the studio looking back, and I think that the compositions kind of start working quite nicely. Um, it's got a nice sort of balance to it, nice sort of flow. I quite like the rhythm of these marks coming down here, and then the the leaves kind of floating off this way. But everything's a little bit too sort of um, raw at the moment. But I think it's kind of got to a point where. Um, I feel like it's kind of coming together quite nicely. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start working over all this uh, water-based paint with some oil paint. Um, and this is all, you know, it's all quite um, dry now. And, um, you know, it'll take the oil absolutely fine. And, uh, you know, the reason I do that is because the oil paint has a lot more sort of subtlety to it. And um, particularly when I'm working on canvas, I think that the, um, it's kind of a dry sort of acrylic paint can look a bit flat and not too interesting. So I can really bring out a lot of subtlety with the oil paint. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep painting and see where it goes, but you know, I think it'll be, um, yeah, I think it's gonna be okay. So let's we'll see what So um, what I'm gonna do first is I've got um, a mixture here of some, um, fast drying oil painting medium, which is like a sort of um, alkyd um, paint medium. Um, so it's nice, you know, it dries nice and quickly. I've thinned it down very slightly and uh, I'm just gonna go over the surface. I'm not really varnishing, this isn't like a varnish, it's just a, a paint medium. I just wanna get some of this on here so I can start working into it. And straight away, you know, in the same sort of way that a varnish would, um, when you get this sort of slight glossiness going on the surface, it brings out a lot of the colour and the depth in the colours. Um, I don't know how well that's coming across in the video, but I'm not going to do too much down there today, so I think I'm just going to focus on this darker area, because what I really want to do with this is work into these, um, these printed leaf shapes. Um, because at the moment, like I was saying before, they're very kind of just sitting on the surface and um, they don't really feel like they're you know, part of the painting, not sort of integrated into the painting. Um, so I'm gonna work over them. And then, um, and then wipe back through as well. So I'm gonna lose them and then bring them back again. And hopefully in that way they'll start to feel a bit more interesting and also it'll add some color to them because at the moment they're just white okay so what i've got on here is um a bit of uh, sap green and a little bit of black i'm just gonna get some of that going and i've got a bit of the paint medium on there as well i really want to knock a lot of this stuff back and i don't mind if it gets a bit kind of dark and feels like it's losing what's there because um it being oil paint, obviously it's gonna take a while to dry and I can work back into it. And this is one of the, you know, the great things about you know, using oil is uh, this kind of subtle stuff that you can get going. So I'm just going to just work in this corner at the moment. some of this uh, tissue and now I'll put that paint on but then sort of selectively start to bring it back again and uh, I'll do some close-up stuff in a minute for you but um, hopefully you can see that just by doing that the 
the shapes of the, you know, the colour and the tone of these leaves is now sort of feeling much more part of the painting. And, uh, you know, knowing that I had that underneath it and also knowing that what I was going to do with it, I was never worried about these, uh, these shapes being too white and too kind of uh, flat. So I keep stepping back a little bit because there's a light shining on it, so I want to see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's just do a little bit of that. I mean, eventually I'll probably go, you know, well, I will, I'll go over the whole surface. I don't want quite so much of this dark green on it everywhere. Now, obviously with the, um, the oil paint, even though it's a fast, you know, a fairly fast drying medium, oil medium, um, it won't really be dry, you know, properly dry until tomorrow. So I've got plenty of time to, to work with this. I'm going to try and cut back through it a little bit as well. So I'm just using a little bit of um, white spirit here. I'm going to start bringing some of that, the lightness out. I don't want it to get too gloomy. Um, Because there's a lot of texture in uh, in here as well that's um, that's starting to come up as well. So I'll try and get a little bit closer in so you can see what's happening on the surface. So yeah, with this um, a little bit of white spirit on here, I can uh, just kind of break into the oil paint a little bit, and then. Uh, use my rag to really cut back through and get some real subtlety into these marks here and it's also bringing out you know a lot of the texture this kind of um, leafy leafy sort of texture sorry if I'm sounding a bit muffled I've got a brush between my teeth <laughs> you never know where else to put it Also painting and uh, holding this by my hand, it's a little bit wobbly. So I'm hoping you're going to generally get the uh, get the idea. I really wanted to um, just see if I can get a sense of. Uh, I know it's a bit reflective; it's the way the lights are hitting it. Um, but there's from where it was, and I'll show you the one on the other side. This is becoming a lot more subtle and more interesting and I could bring some more colour into it. In fact they are looking in the video I can see here they're still looking quite white but in actual fact there's quite a lot of a, there's a quite a lot of sort of greenness to them actually. But if I just show you the other side, this other painting over here, this is the um the other one that was at the same stage. Um you can see this is all looking much more uh like I was saying raw and these kind of marks, these leafy shapes are just sort of sitting on the surface. Um, so what I want is to have this sense of much more integrated um, paint surface so that everything feels like it's um, all part of the same thing and not, you know, not, just, uh, not just these marks just kind of sitting on the top. I really want them to kind of feel like they're really in the surface of the painting. And I think that's starting to come out now. Just just by doing that, obviously it's still got quite a long way to go. Um, and this was very much by a way of just kind of um, showing you the process. I'll have to uh, concentrate a bit more, I think. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I kind of hope you get the sort of sense of that. So I'm going to carry on doing a bit more. I put the um, I put the uh, camera back on the on the tripod, and I'll do a little bit more for you. Okay, so I'm just showing you again the the difference between this sort of uh, early stages and then the the more subtlety that you can get with uh, using the oil paint. Okay, um, yeah, the next thing I really wanted to do was try and get some of these um, more kind of uh, autumn-y 
colours in this kind of um, let's move that out of the way these uh, sort of reds and ochres it's a little bit of um, uh, so yellow ochre a bit of cadmium orange and a little bit of um, burnt sienna so I want to get these sort of autumn-y warmer autumn-y colours in there so I'm just going to work some of that into this surface here and again I'm not you know too uh, worried about where it's going at this point um, you know, I just wanted to be thinking about sort of autumn colours and uh, just get some onto some of these leaf shapes and uh, again I'm going to be knocking this back in a minute so it um, doesn't matter too much if it's a bit rough and ready at the moment that's probably enough paint on there This is very much, um, you know, the whole process really of going forwards and backwards, adding paint, subtracting it, Just seeing what happens a lot of the time as well. Um, like I was saying in the previous one, I think. You know, it's good to be, uh, you know, to have a, a good idea about, you know, what's going on in the painting, obviously. Um, but at the same time, that element of surprise, you know, is really, uh, really important to have the, uh, you know, sort of uncertainty about exactly what's going to happen, so exactly where it's going, where it's going to end up. Um, because, you know, I don't want every painting to be exactly the same and then it's quite nice just to sort of work into them and kind of play with the shapes a little bit and work around them you know again it brings this sort of real sense of subtlety which is really hard to do um, in acrylic I find I mean I think I think the you know, using water-based paint, I think it's fantastic because it's, you know, it can really build up a lot of layers nice and quickly. But the the subtlety and the uh, earthy kind of um, natural quality of oil paint is, uh, you know, it's tough to beat really. So it's good that we got both. <laughs> so this is quite nice. I hope this is coming across. Um, what I'm really trying to do, I know there's a bit of light that's reflecting on the surface here. Um, I'll try and get a close up of it in a minute. But I'm really trying to get a sense of the varying depths of these leaves that are kind of floating around in, in the river. You know, some of them have sunk a little bit. It's kind of the way I'm thinking about it. I'm looking down. My idea is I'm kind of looking down into the river, and there's all these autumn leaves that have fallen off the trees into the. I'm getting a bit poetic now. You know, into the river, and some of them are sunk, and some of them are floating a bit higher up, being revealed. And so there's kind of getting these different depths going. I guess this is so tough to do in acrylic. I wouldn't try and do this in acrylic. I just think it would look a bit naff. It's just something about the way that the oil paint behaves. It just uh, you know, just adds another dimension, just a, a different quality. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this sense of the movement a little bit as well. You know, like a scratch mark. Maybe work around some of these shapes a little bit. them so 
So yeah, that's kind of uh, that's the way it's going to go for a little while, I think. <laughs> Let's put this down. Okay, I know we're struggling a little bit with the uh, the way the light is kind of reflecting on the surface a little bit here, but um, hopefully you can see the kind of thing that I'm trying to go for these different, like I was saying about these different levels of depth in the surface and how using the oil paint, uh, you know, really brings that kind of subtle qualities in and um, just a little bit of colour uh, goes a long way. And, it, you know, I've actually kind of pulled back a little bit and see the other side of the painting here uh, where I haven't done any of the work on the oil um, down the bottom right you can see it's a lot less interesting I mean you know there's nice bits there but it's not got the the real kind of subtle stuff and also where I've just did the green the black black and green up the top that's looking a bit uninteresting as well so having these bringing in these warmer colors uh, just you know adds a lot to it and again, I go back to that original, um, not the original one, the other one where I haven't done any of this oil work on it. It's a very different kind of painting. Uh, so, there we go. So yeah, that was um, all I really wanted to talk about in this one was just, you know, just to give you an idea of the, the, um, the way I, I begin to finish the paintings, I suppose, is one way of putting it. Um, you know, using I, you know, I use all this uh, water-based paint, acrylic um, primer, and all that kind of stuff. And the the drawn marks is all with those big woody pencils and watercolor pencils and things like that. And that is all kind of building the structure and the layers. But um, and once the painting begins to come together, you know, that's when I like to go in with the oil paint and really start bringing out the kind of the real subtle um, tonal. Uh, variations, uh, subtle colour changes. Uh, I think it just adds so much to the painting that um, I think if I were just to leave it as an acrylic painting, I think it would look very flat and a bit boring. Um, so yeah, and it's got a, still got a way to go, but um, hopefully, uh, not too distant future, it'll be, you know, quite nice. Okay. <laughs> And uh, okay, thanks for watching. Um, just want to say thanks to everyone because the, the channel's just gone over 5,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. It's you know, loads more than I thought that I would ever get. So um, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and uh, I'll see you soon.